Dickel. Technician Basic. National Standard. Curriculum. EMT Basic. National Standard Curriculum Instructors Course Guide. United States Department of Transportation National Highway Traffic Safety Administration EMT Basic. National Standard Curriculum. I. EMT Basic. National Standard Curriculum. Project Director. David J. Samuels, MBA System Director Samaritan Air Evac Emergency Medical Services Samaritan Health System Phoenix, AZ. CO Medical Directors. Henry C. Bock, MD, FASAP Emergency Physician Methodist Hospital of Indiana, Inc. Indianapolis, in Kimberly Mall, MD. FACS Director R. Adams Cowley Shock Trauma Center Baltimore, M.D. Principal Investigator. Walt A. Stoy, Ph.D., EMTP Director of Educational Programs Center for Emergency Medicine Research Assistant Professor of Medicine University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine Pittsburgh, P.A. Contract number DTNH 2290C05189. EMT Basic, National Standard Curriculum Instructors Course Guide. United States Department of Transportation National Highway Traffic Safety Administration EMT NASIC, National Standard Curriculum. 2. Curriculum Development Group. James Bothwell. EMTP National Flight Paramedics Association. William Brown, RN, NRE MTP National Registry of Emergency Medical Technicians. Ricky Davidson International Association of Fire Chiefs. Carla Holmes, RN National Council of State EMS Training Coordinators. Richard Judd, PhD, MZ National Association of Emergency Medical Technicians. Catherine Lewis, RN, PhD Phoenix College, Education Design Expert. Paul Manis Calco National Association of Emergency Medical Technicians. Susan McHenry National Association of State EMS Directors. William Metcalf, EMTP American College of Emergency Physicians. Mary Beth Mitches International Association of Fire Chiefs. Joe Taylor, RN, PhD Emergency Nurses Association. Catherine West, RN, Ms. Infection Control Expert. Roger White, MD American Heart Association. Robert Worsing, Jr., MD American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Medical Oversight Committee. Robert Barron, MD, FASAP Emergency Physician. Nicholas Benson, MD, FASAP National Association of EMS Physicians Society for Academic Emergency Medicine. George Fulton, MD, FASAP American Academy of Pediatrics. Kathleen Handel, MD, FASAP Emergency Physician. James Heckman, MD, FAAOS American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. William Rausch, MD. FASIP Joint Review Commission. EMT Basic, National Standard Curriculum Instructors Course Guide. United States Department of Transportation National Highway Traffic Safety Administration EMT Basic, National Standard Curriculum. 3. Preface. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA has assumed responsibility for the development of training courses that are responsive to the standards established by the Highway Safety Act of 1966, amended. Since these training courses are designed to provide national guidelines for training, it is NHTSA's intention that they be of the highest quality and be maintained in a current and up taught its status from the point of view of both technical content and instructional strategy. To this end, NHTSA supported the current project which involved revision of the 1984 Emergency Medical Technician Ambulance, National Standard Curriculum, deemed of high value to the states in carrying out their annual training programs.
This course is one of a series of courses making up a national AIMS training program for pre-hospital care. The curriculum, Emergency Medical Technician Basic, National Standard. Curriculum, is the cornerstone of AIMS pre-hospital training. In addition, the new curriculum parallels the recommendations of the National AIMS Education and Practice Blueprint. The EMT basic curriculum is a core curriculum of minimum required information, to be presented within a 110-hour training program. It is recognized that there is additional specific education that will be required of EMT basics who operate in the field, that is ambulance driver training, heavy and light rescue, basic extrication, special needs, and so on. It is also recognized that this information might differ from locality to locality, and that each training program or system should identify and provide special training requirements. This curriculum is intended to prepare a medically competent EMT basic to operate in the field. Enrichment programs and continuing education will help fulfill other specific needs for the EMT basics education. Acknowledgement. From the very beginning of this revision project, the Department of Transportation relied on the knowledge, attitudes, and skills from hundreds of experts. These individuals sought their own level of involvement and contribution toward accomplishing the goals of this project. These contributions varied from individual to individual, and regardless of the level of involvement, everyone played a significant role in the development of the curriculum. It is essential that those who have assisted with the achievement of this worthy educational endeavor be recognized for their efforts. For every person named, there are 50 or more individuals that should be identified for their contributions. For all who have contributed, named and unnamed, thank you for sharing your vision. Your efforts have helped assure that the educational training, EMT Basic, National Standard Curriculum Instructors Course Guide, United States Department of Transportation National Highway Traffic Safety Administration EMT NASIC National Standard Curriculum I've Needs of EMT basics are met so that they can provide appropriate and effective patient care. Special thanks for the knowledge, expertise, and dedication given to this project by the project director, principal investigator, co-medical directors and all the members of the Curriculum Development Group and Medical Oversight Committee. NHTSA would also like to recognize the following individuals and or organizations for their significant contributions to this project. National Organizations National Council of State EMS Training Coordinators Michael O'Keefe, EMD National Registry of EMTs William Brown, R. Enfield Dickinson, R. EMTP. Individuals Robert Waters, Ph.D. Joseph Mistovich, Ms. R.E.M.T.P. Michael Tunick, M.D. Montana Pilot Test Site Mark Rasikat, Governor Albert E. Goak, Director, Highway Traffic Safety Division Drew Dawson, Chief, M.S. Bureau Ken Threat, State Training Coordinator Dane Castleberry, Course Coordinator Dale Darren. Assistant State Training Coordinator Jim Upchurch, MD, REMTB, Billings, Montana, Indian Health Service, Medical Director for the Pilot Program, Pennsylvania Pilot Test Site Coom Ham, PhD, State EMS Director Gail Dubs, EMT, State Training Coordinator Dennis Wago, MDiv, EMTP, Regional Training Coordinator Scott Everett, EMTP, Lead Instructor Tom Platt, NRE MTP, Course Coordinator Ron Roth, MD, Medical Director for the Pilot Program, EMT Basic, National Standard Curriculum Instructors Course Guide, United States Department of Transportation National Highway Traffic Safety Administration EMT Basic, National Standard Curriculum. V. Center for Emergency Medicine Walt Stoy, PhD, EMTP, 
Principal Investigator Tom Platt, NREMTP, Coordinator of EMS Education Greg Margulis, BS, EMTP, Associate Director of Education Deborah Barkley, EMTP, Coordinator of Medical Education Paul Parius, MD, FASAP, Chief Medical Director Donald Goodman, MBA, Chief Financial Officer Amy Tremel, BS, EMTP Division of Emergency Medicine Attending Physicians, University of Pittsburgh Affiliated Residency in Emergency Medicine, University of Pittsburgh, Samaritan Health System M's Division Cindy Ruth and George Snova. Thanks to the many outside reviewers who provided diverse knowledge and skills from across the country, they contributed to the content and shared their ideas and visions about the new curriculum. NHTSA would also like to thank two other federal agencies that supported the pilot testing of the new curriculum, the Maternal and Child Health Bureau and the Office of Rural Health Policy, both within the Department of Health and Human Services. Process. The content of this curriculum was established by a curriculum development group consisting of emergency medical and educational experts. These individuals met periodically to review, edit, and critique the development of the curriculum. The Medical Oversight Committee developed the medical clinical component of the curriculum. A six-member writing group and principal investigator actually put pen to paper. Once the objectives and format were approved by the Curriculum Development Group and Medical Oversight Committee, the co-medical directors dealt with difficult and controversial issues and sought to achieve consensus with the Curriculum Development Group and Medical Oversight Committee. The National Council of State EMS training coordinators made a significant contribution to the overall design, development, and content of the curriculum. EMT Basic, National Standard Curriculum Instructors Course Guide United States Department of Transportation National Highway Traffic Safety Administration EMT NASIC, National Standard Curriculum V. Throughout the project, more importantly, this organization has assumed the responsibility for implementing the curriculum in the coming years. Two pilot tests were conducted in Decalica, Montana representing the Rural Frontier EMT Basic, and Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, representing the Urban Metropolitan EMT Basic. Seven students participated in the Montana pilot, and 23 students participated in the Pennsylvania pilot. The project team gained valuable insight into the implementation of the new EMT Basic and modifications were made to the final curriculum document. The National Registry of EMTs contributed to the design and development of the examinations and final evaluation tools that were used in the pilot program, as well as the tabulation and evaluation of scores. The National Registry also contributed significantly to the design and development of the skill sheets that are contained within this curriculum. Medical Direction Statement Medical direction of the EMT basic is an essential component of pre-hospital training, and thus is included in this revised EMTB curriculum. Physician involvement should be in place for all aspects of EMS training programs, specifically for every ambulance service rescue squad. Online and or offline medical direction must be in place to allow for EMT basics to carry and assist with the administration of medications to patients. Quality improvement is also a required component of EMS training. The role of medical direction is paramount in assuring the provision of highest quality pre-hospital care. Medical directors should work with individuals and systems to review pre-hospital cases and strive to achieve a sound method of continuous quality improvement. EMT Basic, National Standard Curriculum Instructors Course Guide United States Department of Transportation National Highway Traffic Safety Administration EMT Basic, National Standard Curriculum 1. Curriculum History. The last revision of the EMT Ambulance, 
National Standard Curriculum occurred in the early 1980s with a completed course published in 1984. The current revision came about as a result of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's NHTSA. January 1990 Consensus Workshop on Emergency Medical Services Training Programs. Participants discussed the national training curricula needs of emergency medical service, EMS, providers, using a nominal group process. The participants identified the top priority needs for EMS training in the United States. The top priorities identified at that meeting led to issuance of a request for proposals. RFP, by NHTSA to revise the EMT, ambulance curriculum based upon the input provided by many national EMS organizations and representatives at the consensus workshop. The following priorities from the 1990 consensus workshop recommendations played a directing role in the revision of the CMT basic curriculum. Review and development of a blueprint model and core curriculum for each provider level, based upon task analysis focusing on field impact, evaluating positive-negative outcomes, and the most utilized knowledge and skill areas, identify need-to-know versus nice-to-know content, conduct an analysis of interventions and outcomes for both the patient and the care provider, what are we really doing in EMS? What's making a difference? Define what we want to do. Establish a physician board to review and approve all medical curriculum content. Emphasize an assessment-based format rather than a diagnostic-based format for all levels and all ages. Ensure that there is adequate focus on primary skills of assessment and ABCs in all provider levels, with emphasis on airway. Include an objective assessment of all published studies in peer journals when revising curricula. Emphasize rescuer and patient safety components, including infection control, in all curricula. EMT Basic, National Standard Curriculum Instructors Course Guide. United States Department of Transportation National Highway Traffic Safety Administration EMT NASIC. National Standard Curriculum 2. Ensure that pre-hospital providers have adequate skills to care for children and infants by integrating information throughout the curricula at all levels, within the established course items. Build in clearly defined medical control for all levels, not just EMT paramedic. Utilize measurable educational objectives, knowledge, skills, judgment, to determine individuals' learning needs and duration of training program, develop a nationally acceptable core curriculum for each provider level, with a mechanism for customizing for local needs, place curriculum revision emphasis on EMTA and first responder courses, revise basic course to be no more than 110 hours in length, add automated defibrillation, fully automatic and semi-automatic, for CPR by EMTs and first responders, develop an integrated situational, real-world, approach for EMT training, develop a mechanism for consensus on EMS education among national groups, evaluate delivery methods of training, include sufficient information in basic EMTA curriculum to comply with hazardous materials, hazmat, worker protection standard, Include more on medical emergencies as opposed to trauma, including airway. EMT Basic, National Standard Curriculum Instructors Course Guide. United States Department of Transportation National Highway Traffic Safety Administration EMT Basic, National Standard Curriculum. 3. Course Goals. This instructor's course guide has been designed and developed to assist the course coordinator, instructors, and others in planning, managing and teaching the emergency medical technician basic, national standard curriculum. The goals and objectives of this curriculum are to improve the quality of emergency medical care. This course is designed to instruct a student to the level of emergency medical technician basic. Formerly the EMT Ambulance, 
who serves as a vital link in the chain of the healthcare team. It is recognized that the majority of pre-hospital emergency medical care will be provided by the EMT basic. This includes all skills necessary for the individual to provide emergency medical care at a basic life support level with an ambulance service or other specialized service. Specifically, after successful completion of the program, the student will be capable of performing the following functions at the minimum entry level. Recognize the nature and seriousness of the patient's condition or extent of injuries to assess requirements for emergency medical care. Administer appropriate emergency medical care based on assessment findings of the patient's condition. Lift, move, position and otherwise handle the patient to minimize discomfort and prevent further injury. And, perform safely and effectively the expectations of the job description. It is obvious that EMT basics provide a service in an environment requiring special skills and knowledge in such areas as communications, transportation, and keeping records. They also serve as liaisons with other emergency services. This course provides an introduction to these concepts. Individual orientation to the specific systems and services with which the EMT BASIC will be affiliated is necessary to achieve a full level of competency. On the following page is the diagram of the educational model. This is a graph representing the flow of the curriculum. The model has the medical and trauma information on either side of patient assessment. The curriculum is designed to have the medical module presented after patient assessment and prior to the trauma module, however, this format may be altered. The entire curriculum is surrounded by continuing education, which is designed to reflect two primary goals. First, during the instruction of the EMT Basic, National EMT Basic, National Standard Curriculum. Instructor's Course Guide United States Department of Transportation National Highway Traffic Safety Administration EMT NASIC National Standard Curriculum 4. Standard Curriculum Additional continuing education in related content may be provided. Secondly, continuing education is an integral component of any educational process and the EMT BASIC should be committed to lifelong learning. EMT BASIC, National Standard Curriculum. Diagram of Educational Model. CPR. Prerequisite. Continuing Education Preparatory Continuing Education. Introduction to Emergency Medical Care The Well-Being of the EMT Basic Medical Legal and Ethical Issues The Human Body Baseline Vitals and Sample History Lifting and Moving Airway Continuing Education Airway Advanced Airway Elective Continuing Education Medical Patient Assessment Drama General Pharmacology Respiratory Emergencies Cardiovascular Emergencies Diabetic Emergencies Allergic Reactions Poisoning Overdose Emergencies Environmental Emergencies Behavioral Emergencies Obstetrics Scene Size Up Initial Assessment Focused History and Physical Exam Medical Focused History and Physical Exam Trauma Detailed Physical Exam Ongoing Assessment Communications Documentation Bleeding and Shock Soft Tissue Injuries Musculoskeletal Care Injuries to the Head and Spine Continuing Education Infants and Children Continuing Education Infants and Children Continuing Education Operations Continuing Education Ambulance Operations Gaining Access Overviews Continuing Education Continuing Education Continuing Education EMT Basic National Standard Curriculum Instructor's Course Guide United States Department of Transportation National Highway Traffic Safety Administration EMT Basic National Standard Curriculum 5. The following pages show the breakdown of hours and objectives for the Emergency Medical Technician Basic National Standard Curriculum. In this design there are 46 lessons in the core curriculum, 
three additional lessons are needed to complete the advanced AOA elective, if offered. The name of each lesson is followed by the recommended time needed to complete the instruction, the cognitive, effective, psychometer objectives and the total number of objectives for that lesson are provided. The percentage of cognitive and percentage of hours is based on the entire core curriculum. This information may prove to be beneficial in designing written and practical evaluation tools. Course Design Module 1 Preparatory Lesson 1 1 Introduction to Emergency Medical Care familiarizes the EMT basic candidate with the introductory aspects of emergency medical care. Topics covered include the emergency medical services system, roles and responsibilities of the EMT basic, quality improvement, and medical direction. Lesson 1 2 Wellbeing of the EMT basic covers the emotional aspects of emergency care, stress management, introduction to critical incident stress debriefing, CISD, scene safety, body substance isolation. BSI, personal protection equipment, PPE, and safety precautions that can be taken prior to performing the role of an EMT basic. Lesson 1 3 Medical Legal and Ethical Issues explores the scope of practice, ethical responsibilities, advanced directives, consent, refusals, abandonment, negligence, duty to act, confidentiality and special situations such as organ donors and crime scenes. Medical legal and ethical issues are vital elements of the EMT basics daily life. Lesson 1 for the human body enhances the EMT basics knowledge of the human body. A brief overview of body systems, anatomy, physiology and topographic anatomy will be given in this session. EMT basic National Standard Curriculum Instructors Course Guide United States Department of Transportation National Highway Traffic Safety Administration EMT NASIC National Standard Curriculum 6. Lesson 1 5 Baseline Vital Signs and Sample History Teachers Assessing and Recording of a Patient's Vital Signs and a Sample History Lesson 1 6 Lifting and Moving Patients provides students with knowledge of body mechanics, lifting and carrying techniques, principles of moving patients, and an overview of equipment. Practical skills of lifting and moving will also be developed during this lesson. Lesson 1 7 Evaluation Preparatory module conduct a written and skills evaluation to determine the student's level of achievement of the cognitive. Psychometer and effective objectives from this module of instruction. Module 2 Airway. Lesson 2 1 Airway teaches airway anatomy and physiology, how to maintain an open airway, pulmonary resuscitation, variations for infants and children and patients with laryngectomies, the use of airways, suction equipment, oxygen equipment and delivery systems and resuscitation devices will be discussed in this lesson. Lesson 2 2 Practical Skills Lab Airway provides supervised practice for students to develop the psychometer skills of airway care, the use of airways, suction equipment, oxygen equipment and delivery systems, and resuscitation devices will be included in this lesson. Lesson 2 3 Evaluation Airway module conduct a written and skills evaluation to determine the student's level of achievement of the cognitive, psychometer and effective objectives from this module of instruction. Module 3 Patient Assessment Lesson 3 1 Scene Size Up Enhance the EMT Basics Ability to Evaluate a Scene for Potential Hazards, Determined by the Number of Patients If Additional Help Is Necessary and evaluate mechanism of injury or nature of illness. This lesson draws on the knowledge of Lesson 1-2. EMT Basic, National Standard Curriculum Instructors Course Guide. United States Department of Transportation National Highway Traffic Safety Administration EMT Basic, National Standard Curriculum. 7. 
Lesson 3 to initial assessment provides the knowledge and skills to properly perform the initial assessment. In this session, the students will learn about forming a general impression, determining responsiveness, assessment of the airway, breathing and so 